years ago, we visited the ASUS headquarters in Taiwan, and we also visited or attended the three-day conference of Taipei's Computex 2016, where the ASUS Zenfone 3 was unveiled. The Zenvolution 2016 is scheduled on August 14, which is which signals the launch of the Zenfone 3 in the Philippines. And today we already have the retail unit. We have the 4 gig and 64 gig version of the 5.5 inch Zenfone 3. Stay tuned for our unboxing. Hello everyone, this is Spidey of Tech Patrol News. Join me again as we unbox and take a look at the 4 gig, 64 gig, 5.5 inch version of the Zenfone 3. The unit we have is few of the units released by ASUS Philippines to the media to allow us to explore it and for you to already appreciate it even before the official launch on August 14. Now the Zenfone 3 has two versions, the 5.2 inch and the 5.5 inch. The difference lies on the battery and storage. The smaller one gets a 2600 milliamps battery and a, and a 32 gig storage, while the bigger brother gets a 3000 milliamps and a 64 built in storage. Now let's go ahead and unbox this beautiful badass here the Zenfone 3. Notice that even the packaging was improved by ASUS. This might be a signal that the pricing will be increased in this new model of Zenfone. It presents a premium packaging with a dark gray box but the standard accessories are found inside together with the Zenfone 3 itself. Now let's go take a look what's inside the box. First up, we have here the user manual which is inside a black envelope and it is supposed to have that little SIM ejector but we can find it here. Next is the micro USB cable. Zenfone 3 utilizes the USB Type-C and features fast charging. Up next is the quick wall charger. Asus is specifically shipped a charger designed for the Philippines unlike the other brands. And finally, the equally elegant looking earphones with extra earbuds. Now let's take a closer look at the Zenfone 3. So the Zen UI still sits on top of the Android 6.0.1 
is a very uh, familiar looking UI for those who already own a previous version of the Zen phone. So you'll see the same uh, familiar looking UI here. Pulling the menu from the top reveals the quick menu. You have here the uh, brightness control and uh, some of the useful uh, menu that you uh, that you can pull from the top. You have Wi-Fi, authoritate sound, everything. Hotspot are all here. You can configure it later on using this button here on the top. You still have here the the app drawer button, and when you press it, reveals the apps and like we mentioned, uh, when, when we did a quick hands-on of this during the launch in Taipei, um, we did not see this uh, unwanted apps which uh, we call the bloat, uh, which we call bloatwares. That's probably because uh, what's presented in Taipei was a uh, engineering unit, but this one is already the commercial units, the retail model that will be available in stores beginning August uh, August 14 we're surprised to see um, same group of apps that you don't actually use so you, you can hide it later on but we'll show you how to uh, manage the apps from the app drawer uh, Send UI has a, uh, a feature that allows you to smart group the apps so when uh, press this uh, button here on the upper right side it reveals a quick menu and you can click smart group and then send UI will already group the apps uh, depending on their category so you have here as you can see you have now communications uh, group games the Google Apps music and uh, music and uh, audio photography there are two photography uh, uh, group here, social tools and whatnots. So if you do it, uh, your screen will look uh, neat and organized. Let's try to use the the pixel master of this Sandphone uh, 3. So let's try sample photos using this. So very fast and we can see um, very detailed uh, detailed uh, image here but uh, take note that we're using uh, we're shooting this in our studio and we have uh, very nice lighting condition that's why so um, the real test is when we use this outdoors and we use the camera in different lighting conditions. But right now, uh, you'll see a very fast uh, autofocus and it captures very fast also. So we tried the Pixel Master outside uh, earlier and here are some of the images that we were able to capture. Here's also a video captured by the Zenfone 3. Now here are the other observations we found on the Zenfone 3. The power button is no longer on top. 
you'll observe that the you will recall that the previous Zenfone has the power button on top of the the smartphone and also the volume control is now located on top of the, the, the power button which is I think is more ergonomic than putting it on the back they put the, the fingerprint sensor at the back below the 16 megapixel pixel master which is really nice but I don't know why they put a rectangular shape um, um, fingerprint sensor as most of the brand uses a circular circular type of uh, fingerprint sensor uh, we'll test now we're not going to test the fingerprint sensor also we already have two fingerprint uh, finger enrolled so let's see if how fast uh, the fingerprint reacts when unlocking uh, the phone so here really accurate and fast now let's try the other one the left really nice okay so if your fingerprint is not recognized you'll feel a vibration and way in the smartphone I encountered two uh, inaccurate uh, invalid fingerprint scanning so I've encountered two Two vibration in my left finger so let's try it again so it's fast okay um, hopefully there are other applications that can be used with the fingerprint scanner we'll find out in we'll find out more in our review later on so there you go guys the Zenfone 3 5.5 inch which is scheduled to be launched on August 14 so far we have checked the new design and build we had a quick look at the UI we had sample photos in a video clip and tested the fingerprint scanner watch out for our detailed review at Tech Patrol News once again thank you for watching and this has been Spidey for Tech Patrol News see you in our next video